vaccine being delivered to Connecticut here this morning. Today, Hartford Healthcare took in more vaccine shipments, and this one was four times bigger than last week's. Fox 61's Matt Karen was there for the historic moment. And it was a different brand. It was just one week ago when the Pfizer vaccine arrived here at Hartford Healthcare. Now they've depleted that supply just in time for the Moderna vaccine. Meet Mandy Delgado. I am happy and extremely excited to be the first one to get this Moderna um, vaccine. Her voice shaking with excitement. Mandy, a nurse of 16 years, provides care to critically ill COVID patients. Working in the critical care, I've been exhausted, overwhelmed. A literal shot of hope. Just 30 minutes before Mandy got her shot in the arm, those vaccine doses were being unloaded and unboxed at the Jefferson Street loading dock. So this is what the box looks like. Hartford Healthcare got 88 of those boxes. In each one, 10 vials. In each vial, 10 doses. 8,800 doses total. Combine that with the 2,000 Pfizer doses last week. We will administer this week 10,000 vaccines. At clinics across their network, including one to open December 28th at the Connecticut Convention Center. To get this vaccine to as many people as safely and as quickly as we possibly can. Keith Grant got the Pfizer vaccine last week. He says he's feeling good. I had some irritation at the site, um, some pain at the site for the first 24 hours, and that subsided. Both vaccines require two doses. Pfizer 21 days apart, Moderna 28. This is a huge step for us to move back into what is normal and appreciate our families much more. They're both roughly 95% effective and safe. Where they differ is the logistics of storage. Advantage Moderna. This vaccine is much easier to handle logistically. It's, it's stored at regular frozen temperature, about minus 20 degrees. Uh, so it's much easier to handle. It doesn't need dry ice. Um, it's also good in the refrigerator for a month. Now, you also may have heard about a new strain of COVID circulating in the UK. Doctors were asked if that would undermine the effectiveness of the vaccine. And while the science is still out, most experts agree it would be very unlikely. Reporting in Hartford, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News. All right, Matt, thank you.